Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Happy Tuesday, guys. It's a hot, hot, hot week here. I don't know about where you guys are, but man, it just seems to be like boiling all over. But um, I'm going to stay in, going to do some crafting, going to get them some things done this week. Um, I do have a small Dollar Tree haul. I actually only ran there for a couple things that I needed, and you guys know how that is. So <laughs> I'm going to share with you what I found there. And it's not a ton of stuff. So I figured I'd combine this video. Um, I have some things that I got from AliExpress uh, that I had ordered a couple weeks ago. Now their stuff comes pretty quick. And if you haven't checked out AliExpress, if you do any kind of like any kind of crafting stuff, you know, like um, for die cuts, the metal die cuts or stamps or things like that, you can get them there so much cheaper than anywhere that I that I know of. And um, I didn't get any dies this time, but I did get a bunch of little pretty things to put inside my shaker cards. So I figured I'd show you what I got from there. And um, I have some friend mail that I am going to share with you guys. I have appreciated everything that you guys have sent me. But anyway, that being said, I'm going to flip this over here and I'll probably bring little P in for a minute at the end here. He's very busy helping my husband in his office right now. <laughs> He's such a big help. But anyway, I'm going to flip it over to my craft table so I can show you guys what I got. All right, I think we'll start here with the Dollar Tree haul. It's not a huge haul. Like I said, I just ran in to grab a couple different things. Actually, this is what I went for. I need a couple more of these spray bottles. Um, I made some more of that weed killer that I use outside here to, on my patio to get rid of all the grass and stuff. Um, I put up a video of that, I don't know if it was last year or the year before, on how to make that. It's just like vinegar and Epsom salt and some Dawn. And let me tell you what, that stuff works like a charm. Um, so I like to put them in these bottles and then I can mark on here what they are. And um, yeah, I use these bottles for all kinds of stuff. These are really, really nice um, ones that Dollar Tree has. I don't know how many, I can't see how many ounces this thing holds. Anyway, it holds a lot. The glare in here is terrible. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Is it 22 ounces, maybe? Is that what I'm seeing? I don't know. Maybe you guys can even see it. But anyway, I really, really, really love those spray bottles. And they last quite a long time. I've had some I've been using for quite a while up on my birds and things. And then I picked these up. I haven't seen these before. I don't know if I have or I just have passed on them. And these are the little votive candles. Um, it looks like a little votive candle holder. And then inside, I'm going to open one up here. Let's open one up and see how they look. I've never, I've never had these before. Now these are just, they're just plastic. I have a little thingy in there. They're, oh, actually those are quite nice. And that's a really bright LED light in there. Not like the normal little um, LED candles that they have. I mean, the little battery-operated ones. That's really, really pretty. Oh, you know what? I almost want to check out the gold one. They had them in silver and they had them in gold. Um, I'll just pick up two of each. I want to see how this gold one looks. I was not expecting them to be that bright. And this one does not work. Uh, okay. Oh, wait a minute. There it goes. Oh, it was just loose. No, it's okay. It worked just fine. Yeah, it has the same bright light in there. I'm just really, really surprised that these are that bright. Well, I really like these little guys. So I did get two of each. Or, yeah, I got two of each of those. Here's the other two there. Hmm. So I figured those would be great around Christmas time. Do maybe just some centerpieces or something like that. And then I picked up this regular candle here. I thought it'd be real pretty. I don't burn regular candles because of my parrots, but to make like a nice little gift for somebody, I thought that was so pretty with the red glitter on it. And then it's a red candle in there. So I thought that was really nice too. I think I've had those before. Um, let's see, where else? Did, oh, these I picked up. These they had last year. I'm pretty sure these are last year's thing. Even the lady at the register agreed these probably should have been marked down since they're from last year when they were a dollar. But whatever. I really love this one. This is like an acorn. And it's, you know, got this pretty blue and it has that copper top. 
Um, I just think these are really nice, even just to stick in a little basket of something. And then I picked up the silver pumpkin. I thought that was real pretty too. And they're both candles. So I did grab those too. They really haven't gotten any of the new fall stuff out. I know some stores are getting it out already, but I have not seen them. Um, and then I picked up another one of these foam mounting tapes. These are great for doing cards and things too, if you want to raise something up a little bit. Um, these are pre-cut, create 3D effects layers. Now these are usually down in the hardware department. They're not in the crafter square section. And, and that's where I always find the, um, the super glue wood glue too. That's always down like by the hardware section automotive stuff. And that's where I always find this stuff too. You would think it would be in the crafter square section, but it's not. But that stuff works really good and it sticks really well too. And while I was down there in that department, I picked up a pack of this wire. They have this red and they have this black. And this is just six millimeter wire and you get 20 feet. So, four, 20 feet. Okay. Oh, there's four pieces. Oh, I didn't even realize that. I thought there was just two. So there's four 20 feet pieces of wire in here. And this stuff is great to use in crafting Christmas black. You know, you can use that anytime um, for different things that you need to use. And um, sometimes that floral wire is just a little bit too thin, and this is a little bit thicker than that. So I will stick that down here in my stash of goodies. And I also picked up another um, set of the 12 magnet buttons. These are really nice little magnets if you do like, you know, refrigerator magnets or whatever you want to use a magnet for. But, um, yeah, I used up a bunch of these not too long ago for something. So I figured I'd grab myself another little pack of those. You get 12 in here. And they're pretty strong little magnet. I also picked up two more packs of these reusable little baggies. These are great for all those little um, sequins and things I get from Dollar Tree that come in those little hard plastic. Once you open them, I mean, you got to put them in something else or they just go all over the place. Um, so I put all of those in these. And what are those with the tube confetti, too, that I got last week? I put, you know, I dumped them all out into these um, little resealable bags. These are four inches by three inches, and you get 20 of them in there. So I used a lot of those last week doing that stuff. They were also stocked up in the crafter square again with their glitters. Um, I love getting them there. This is a really super fine glitter. This stuff is so pretty to use on different things. Um, I love this pink, and then I got it in the gold. I'm not really crazy about this color of this gold, but it's not too bad. And then I got it in the red, just in time for the holidays to get the glitter all over my craft room again. <laughs> But it is pretty around the holidays, the all the glittery things. And then I got the silver. So I was glad to see they had those back in. And I picked up a couple of these command hooks. Actually, this was one of the other reasons I went. Because I have a bunch of command hooks that I've had for a long time. But in this room, I guess, sitting here, the um, strips have kind of dried out. And they're not even sticky anymore. So I got one of these bigger hooks. These are great, especially when you're decorating around the holidays or, or any time that you want to hang something up and you don't want to bang a nail in your uh, wall for any reason. So those are really nice. And then I got one of these little ones. And actually one like this I've had on my front porch door. And my screen door has the uh, glass on it too. Um, I put one of these there years ago and I'm still hanging my little wreaths from them. And then I picked up, this is a set of two I believe, yes of these like the clear little clear command hooks. You get two of them in here. I will never understand why these little plastic command hooks are so expensive, but you guys know if you've checked them out any store, they are just really expensive. And then these I couldn't pass on. I love some of these canvas prints that they have. This one has something on it. Oh, it actually looks like it was like paint on these. That's pretty cool actually. I thought that was really, really pretty. Um, this one doesn't have the size. It's just called Wall Art Special Moments Memory Collection. But I just thought those were really, really nice. And this one actually looks like they were had like some thick paint on them. Let me see. I think this is the smaller. Some of these are a little bit bigger. This one is about seven and three quarter inch square. And then this one, I thought this was beautiful. Look at this one with just a succulent on it. These are just great to add a little something in a room. 
for decorating. And you can't beat the price for that. And it's, you know, it has the little hook there you can hang it up with. And now these are just a little bit bigger. These are eight and a half inch squares. So I got that one, and I also love this one. It says, this is our gathering place. I thought that was really, really pretty. With that envelope and the little plants coming out of it and stuff. And again, this was the same size as that one, too. But I just love these. I've had a couple of different ones hanging out in my kitchen uh, for quite a while now. And I actually absolutely love them. So that is all I got from Dollar Tree. So let me show you here what I picked up at. Well, not picked up. Actually, I picked them up out of my mailbox. But I ordered stuff from AliExpress. I'll leave the link to them below down here if anybody wants to go check them out. But I'll tell you, you cannot beat the prices um, on AliExpress if you do like any kind of paper crafting with die cutting dies, those metal cutting dies. You can literally get them for like a dollar, two dollars off of AliExpress. And it really doesn't take that long, you know, like, I know if you order from Wish, sometimes it takes weeks and weeks and months sometimes to get stuff in there. But this stuff usually comes in a few weeks. It really did not take long at all. So I did order some more things. They have anything you can imagine as far as these little polymer, what are they calling these guys on that? I thought I wrote it down. They're calling these polymer craze sprinkles. But I like to use these in like in my shaker cards and thing. Now this one has all kinds of little candies in here. What did I? These actually I paid seventy one cents a pack for these, and the shipping was not bad at all. That's the only thing you have to watch for because there's like a million different sellers on that site, and some of them offer free shipping. Sometimes it's like a dollar, but then some of them you got to watch. They want to try to charge like five bucks to ship something but most of them are very very inexpensive so these were like 71 cents each and I can't even see what all's in here. it was like little cupcakes and candies and like birthday cakes and all kinds of little oh, stand up so you can see that you can see these things here look how pretty these things all are if you like to use this kind of thing like in a in a shaker card. So I got those and then I got these. These look just like, I'm trying to get up here fast before my camera decides to zoom back out. But these looked at like just like little sprinkles you would put on a cake or something. I thought that would be pretty in like some birthday cards. Now these little snowflakes I got, these were 71 cents too. I bought a pack of those I think on Amazon. I paid a lot more than that and I'm pretty sure they all come from the same place. Um, so I did get a, this pack of those. These might be a little bit smaller. I'm not sure. They look almost exactly the same. And then I also got these little, they look like real sprinkles. And if you're into making like those fake cupcakes and things with the icing that people do with like the, the spackling and stuff that look really cute, these would look really, really nice on there. And you, there's just, they offer so many different ones. I mean, I've never been able to get through a section. Um, what did I pay for this one here? This is the other thing I got from them, and I got a lot of this. This is like almost like, phew, probably like three packs or more of that stuff. Um, these were $2.96, and I did pay $1.37 for shipping. But still, you cannot beat this price. And look how pretty these are for Christmas time with the little candies. Let me get that to focus in there. And it has little clear sparkles and all kinds of stuff. Snowflakes. Um, it's just really, really, really pretty. And there's a lot in here. This will last me. Oh, I couldn't. I don't even think I can make enough cards to use all these up in this winter. But that was what I got in the mail the other day from AliExpress. I always get excited when their packages come. They usually ship, if you order like a lot of different things, they usually ship them all over here because um, they all come from China, like pretty much where all this stuff is made. Um, they actually ship them over here to one location and then you'll get all these little packages in one pack from wherever they have their ship dis the distribution center in the United States. So it's pretty cool. I've been buying stuff from them for years now. And um, like I said, you really, really don't have to wait long. All right, let me jump into this mail that I received. All right, I don't want to give away anyone's address here. This is from Melissa. This is just a beautiful card she sent me. Thank you so much. It's so sweet of you. Um, 
She's also a little pea fan. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. That's so sweet of you. I don't like to read what messages people write to me, but that was just very, very nice. So thank you so much for the card. That was very sweet. And then this one came all the way from Norway, and this was from Odhild, and I'm always afraid I'm pronouncing your name wrong, um, and I'm sorry if I did. And you sent me, let's see, these little tags, like little wooden tags here. Oh, this is Christmas. Xmas. That's really cute. Oh, those are really pretty, too. I like those. Thank you so much. And what do we have in here? A millimeter. This little bit too. Let's see. Oh, look at that. How pretty. The yellow is the 4 millimeter and 3.6 millimeter in the red. She even sent me all the sizes. This will be perfect for some Christmas DIYing. I see gingerbread men and things with this white. Oh, I love this stuff. I love the size of this. This is very, very pretty. Oh, thank you so much. And then she sent me a whole pack of them in the yellow. So that is so cool. I will be decorating some things with some pretty stuff that came all the way from Norway. Oh, thank you so much again. That was so sweet of you to send that to me. Yes, all the way from Norway. That's just so cool. Alright, now this box here, let me grab the card in here I want to pull out. Now she knows that I am a frog lover, and look at this. Isn't that very cute? <laughs> with all the little frogs and stamps. Oh, I hear my cockatoo out there having a fit. Look how pretty that is with the leaves. Ah, look at this. <laughs> oh, I love that. That is so cute. So cute. Oh, there's pine cones in here. Oh, you had hand surgery. Ugh, I know my right wrist and thumb is killing me right now. Oh, well, I hope you have a speedy recovery from your surgery. Oh, thank you so much. This is from Stephanie. I don't even think I, I got so excited here with the frogs. This is from Stephanie. Um, that, I love that. That is so cute. Is that from the Cricut Machine? Or, I'm assuming, or a giant die cut, but I'm assuming Cricut Machine. That's really cool. <laughs> Look at those frogs. Alright. So let's dig. Oh my goodness. Look at this. <laughs> All right, let's open this up there. This is too funny. <laughs> she sent me this t-shirt. Look at that. Oh, did you make this? That is so, so cute. It says, always be yourself, except if you can be a frog, then always be a frog. <laughs> I love that. That is so cute. She printed that out on a t-shirt for me. I love it. Thank you so much. That's so sweet and so funny. And I will definitely wear that. Yes, I will. Alright, let me get that up there. Oh my goodness, that bird is driving me crazy. I'm trying to get this box to stay open. Ooh, and she sent me a whole bunch of gummy stuff. Just in time, too, because I ran out this week. So I had tried these a couple weeks ago, and let me tell you what, these things are amazing. My Dollar Tree doesn't carry these, um, but I'm going to be looking for these again. These are yummy, even better than the, I don't want to say better, equally as good as the watermelon gummies that I get all the time. Thank you so much for those. Oh, how exciting. And of course, she had to send me some Haribo frogs, uh, and the peach rings. Those are yummy too. Those I haven't been able to find at Dollar Tree for a while now either. It seems like every time I find something that's my new favorite, then they disappear. Ooh, and the watermelons. These are my worst addiction, is these Haribo watermelons. They are so, so good. Uh, oh, a rainbow frog. I don't think I've ever seen those. <laughs> oh, I got lots of gummies to chew on. 
And then this one here, actually I opened this, don't don't even tell anybody, but I popped one open because I ran out of gummies. See how addicted I am to these? But I cut one open and I took one out. And, oh, look at all these taffies. Where did you say that these were from? Hang on, i got to get my card back out. Stephanie, let's see. Saltwater taffy is from the runnings. I'm not sure where that is, but... Cool. I haven't had saltwater taffy in forever. Look at all this saltwater taffy. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. Wow, those look really, really good. And they're soft. They're not real hard ones. Oh, I'm going to have to try these out, too. Wow, Stephanie, you've got me hooked up on the gummies and the taffy this week. That's for sure. <gasps> Oops, sorry, I'm making that purpose. And here's some more watermelons. Oh, these are the watermelon taffy. I like these, too. These are really, really good. And, oh, that's adorable. Look at that. It's a frog with a little dum-dum lollipop in the middle. Oh, how cute is that little guy? <laughs> Thank you, I love that. That's so sweet. And she sent me a whole bunch of pine cones. These are my favorite pine cones. Thank you so much. I love these pine cones. They're just great for the Christmas crafting. Open up here. And now we... Oh, acorns! I don't know if I've ever used real acorns in any of my crafting things. We don't have any acorn treats around here that I know of. I haven't seen any. Um, oh, that's so nice. Thank you so much. Definitely be using them come this fall crafting. <gasps> and found some more of my favorite paintbrushes. Oh man, I am hooked up here, Stephanie. Look at all these. I love these paintbrushes from Dollar Tree. They get hard to find. Every once in a while I get lucky and I just stock them up and I'll grab a couple. And then she sent me some beautiful napkins. Ooh, look at all these napkins. Oh my goodness. You know what? Let me just one more thing down here too. I'm gonna move this box out of the way here. Just so I can lay this stuff down. Let's check out these napkins. Ooh, look at those pretty ones for Easter. And oh, and there's little bunnies there too. I didn't see those. And Patriotic ones. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. Oh, and the gnomes. I love those little guys. Oh, and can't beat the red truck. Everybody loves the red truck. And there's the orange truck for Thanksgiving. There's some more with a little red truck on it. Thank you so much. These are so pretty. This one it says gather. And then we have these big old Easter bunnies and chicks. Oh, you got lots of Easter napkins, don't you? I'm just going to lay these down here because I think I'll be able to show these better. And then some of the eggs. And some more with some... Oh, this one has a green truck. I don't know if I've ever seen it in the green truck. Hay rides. Oh, I love that. I love when there's these nice sayings across the napkin, too. And then this one, I, this one I have seen before. That one's really pretty. And Christmas... Christmas tree farm. Oh, look at little Frosty there. Those are really pretty. These are great to decoupage on something for fall. And then we have some more patriotic stars. And Happy Easter. Very pretty. And gobble, gobble, gobble. Oh, I love that. Gonna have to use that one for Thanksgiving. Oh, and there's a the turkey. <laughs> That's what's on the other side of those. That is so cool. I love it. Thank you for all my napkins. That's so cool. And then in here, I have not peeked in here yet, so we're going to open this one up here together. Oh, no. <laughs> Look at these frogs. Those are too cute. Hear no evil, speak no evil, see no evil. That is too funny, Stephanie. <laughs> Look at these guys. Oh my god, I love them. They will go up on my shelf back here with my other goofy frogs. I just love these goofy frogs. Well, thank you so much, ladies. This was very sweet of you guys. And again, I always do appreciate you know, everybody thinking of me and sending me stuff. So thank you so much again.
And that is it. I think that is all I have to show for this video. Um, I could bring little P in if anybody wants to see him for a second, just to say hi real quick, because he's in there bugging my husband right now while he's trying to pay bills. So I'll go grab him for a quick second if anybody wants to hang around and see him. Otherwise, thank you guys so much again for all these goodies. All right, here comes little P. I stole him from my husband. He says, take him, please. He said, please tell them that he drives me nuts and he's trying to eat my checkbook. <laughs> Will you help, Hank? No, no, no. Where are you off to now? You just want to go rip stuff apart. That's his goal in life, to shred things and throw them on the floor. Yes, no, you're just going to go get in trouble. They don't want you to get in trouble. Can you not say, just, boy, you in, do you want to say hello to all your fans out there? Everybody loves you. Yes, they do. I know, you just want to go back in there with Daddy. So that's my favorite person. It's my Daddy. Yes. Because he lets me do a lot of things that Mama don't let him do, huh? Isn't that the way it always is? Do you want to swing? <laughs> You're such a goofball. You are such a little goofball. Will you let me file your nails? Sometimes he will actually let me file his little nails here so I don't have to worry about where's my nail files all gone. I have a bunch in here somewhere. Where'd you go? Oh there they are. We have some of these nail files from Dollar Tree. You're probably gonna want to eat them. But can I see he lifts his little foot up? <laughs> Sometimes he's cooperative and we can file these nails a little bit, can we? Yeah look at that. You're actually being good, and when I'm telling somebody that you can be good. Yeah, that's enough of that. How about that beak? Can we file that thing off a little bit, too? Mr. I grow my beak faster than the speed of light. Huh? Here, you want to file it yourself? No. Can we do some more nails? He's like, leave me alone. See, it keeps him from being sharp. And get here's one that will pierce some skin. Can we do this one? Can we can we just file this one just a little bit? Let go. What he's like, leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, you're not always cooperative, but that one's got quite the point on it, young man. Oh well, we'll do this later. These are nice and flat. These don't pierce my skin. This one's getting too long. Huh. Oh well, you're just being a crazy boy this morning. So what do you think, Pay? What are we going to do this week? Tell everybody it's going to be so hot this week, we're all going to melt. Huh. It's supposed to be in the high 90s all week long. So we're staying in the house and staying cool, huh? Alright, well tell everybody have a wonderful day. Just wanted to pop in here and say hi. And, uh, and, and now he's gone. <laughs> All right, everybody, thanks so much for watching, you guys. I will see you all next time. Everybody, have a great day.